Ted Bundy, serial killer, rapist, necrophile, admitted to 30 murders, said his behaviour was too terrible to describe. For most people, this kind of behaviour is just unthinkable, unimaginable. But it's not just what these killers do, it's the complete lack of remorse. Well, neuroscientist Jim Fallon's been researching this question and he's had a few surprises along the way. This is his story. We've got some pictures we want you to look at and tell us just what you see. So Jim Fallon was getting to learn quite a lot about psychopaths' brains. We all knew the song about Lizzie Borden who took an axe and gave her mother 40 wax. And when she was done, she gave her father 41. Very famous axe murderess, and she's a cousin of mine. But it became a little bit more serious because now I had the brain pattern for the PET scans and the EEG pattern, electroencephalogram, but also now the genetics that were very consistent with a, with a, with a really bad news killer, a psychopath, really. There's a long-standing debate in the psychological sciences about the extent to which our behaviour is due to nature, that's biological heredity, or nurture. That's all the things that happen to us in life, our environment, experiences and so on. Jim Fallon's story shows us it's possible to have loss of function in the orbital cortex and a clutch of these dangerous genes and not be violent at all. Epigenetics literally means above genetics. It's about changes in the expression of genes that don't involve changes in the underlying DNA sequence. And behavioural epigenetics, as the name suggests, is the study of how this process affects how we think, feel and act. In effect, how nurture can shape nature. 